All right, this is a supplemental video to show you a different type of problem that I'll ask of you uh, with dealing with limiting reactants. So if 82.6 grams of nitric acid were reacted with 25.9 grams of nitric, uh, nitrous monoxide, or nitrogen monoxide, uh, you would find that the nitric acid is the limiting reactant. How many grams of the excess reactant would remain once all of the nitric acid has been used up? So just to clarify, this I've already been identified as my limiting reactant, which means this is my excess reactant. Now, if I have 82.6 grams of this and I have 25.9 grams of that, okay, so this, that, I'm not going to use all 25.9 grams of it. I want to know. Okay, how much is going to be left over once all 82.6 grams of the nitric acid has been used up? Okay, so what I'm going to do first is clear the board. And now I'm going to look into the reaction. Now I already balanced the reaction here. Um, on your worksheet, you'll have to balance the equation and you'll have to solve for the limiting reactant. And then you'll have to do this step. Okay, so. Here, I'm going to start with what I'm given, okay? Now you're thinking, well, I have two things given. I have the grams of nitric acid, and I have the grams of um, nitrogen monoxide, but I'm going to use the grams of my limiting reactant to start, okay? So I'm going to use this mass to start my problem. So I'm going to go 82.6 grams of nitric acid over 1. Okay. I need to get to moles of nitric acid, so I use the molar mass of nitric acid, which is 63.02 grams of nitric acid, okay, and then I'm going to go to <clears throat> moles of, I want to get to moles of my other reactant, so I look at my uh, balanced chemical reaction, I see that two moles of HNO3 is going to react with one mole of NO. Okay, I'm going to continue it down here. And then I see that I have one mole of NO is going to be 30. 0.01 grams of NO. And this right here should give me the amount of NO that's going to be reacting with the 82.6 grams of nitric acid. So, I'm go ahead and do the math. All right, so 82.6, so once I cancel out my units, 82.6 times 1 times 1 times 30.01 is going to equal, um, counting in sig figs, 2,480, okay, because I need three sig figs there, and then I'm going to divide that by 126.0 with four sig figs because uh, 63.02 has four sig figs. I multiply that by two, I get 126.0, okay? When I do that final calculation, 2480 divided by 126.0, I end up with 19 point, uh, with Three sig figs, remember, 19.7 grams of NO. <clears throat> now, what this means is 19.7 grams of NO is going to react with all of the 82.6 grams of nitric acid. Now, the question is asking, let me revisit the question, how many grams of the excess reactant would remain okay, once all the nitric acid has been used up? So all I'm going to do is take my original amount of NO, which is 25.9 grams of NO. That's how much I'm starting with. And then I'm going to subtract this amount, 19.7 grams of NO. And my final answer is... 6... Okay, 0.2 grams of NO. That's what's going to be left. Okay. Now, um, remember when it comes to sig figs and subtraction, okay, um, 
since they're both three, you can't have a difference that's greater than three sig figs. Okay, so the fact that I have two sig figs down here as my difference is completely acceptable. Okay, so again, to recap, I start with the amount of the limiting reactant, which I've already identified what the limiting reactant is. On your worksheets, you'll have to identify what it is first. Okay, once I identify the limiting reactant and how much I start with, and then I go and I use molar ratio to get to the number of grams of the excess reactant that I'm going to use up in that reaction that would use up all of the limiting reactant. And then I would take that amount and I would subtract it from the original amount of reactant given.